fastest planes in the world and their competitors. Modern aircraft are capable of flying very fast. Even without afterburner mode, modern fighters can easily overcome the speed of sound. In fact, not all planes that can develop tremendous speed will be shown in my video. All due to the fact that some of them are secret and the others often existed only on paper or they are samples that cannot be considered finished products. And we will start from the bottom position of our rating. General Dynamics F-111 Fast Bomber This aircraft cannot be called something outstanding in terms of speed. He barely surpassed the passenger. However, the Aardvark, as the F-111 was also known, could reach twice the speed of sound in flight. Its maximum speed was 2,645 km per hour. At that time, this was a good speed, which made it possible to successfully carry out many military operations. The first samples entered service with the US 4,480th Tactical Fighter Squadron in October 1967. During the service, only according to official data, more than 10 aircraft were lost. In 1996, they were withdrawn from the US Air Force, and during this time, they managed to participate in some operations of the war. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, the most famous fighter. This aircraft is considered a bright representative of its time and fourth-generation fighters. Such aircraft are called all-weather tactical fighters capable of gaining air superiority. The aircraft entered service with the US Army back in 1976 and during its service time managed to take part in dozens of operations in the Persian Gulf, the Middle East and even Yugoslavia. The track record of the machine is huge and how many times these planes took to the air to perform secret combat missions or intercept unidentified air targets you can't count at all. In total, as many as 22 modifications of this aircraft were created designed for different tasks. The maximum speed of the aircraft is 2,650 km per hour. The MiG-31 two-seater fighter. This aircraft was originally designed as a supersonic fighter interceptor for flights in any weather. In the end, they got it. This is a long-range aircraft that has several modifications for different conditions of use. It is noteworthy that it was this aircraft that was the fourth-generation combat aircraft in the USSR. The range of the application is very, very high. It is capable of intercepting any air targets at high, medium, low and extremely low altitudes. Even heat traps and artificially created radar interference should not be a problem for him. The crew consists of two people. This machine is capable of accelerating up to 3000 km per hour, which leaves no chance for the enemy aircraft, of course, if it does not go further in our list. MiG-25 Supersonic Interceptor The decision to design the MiG-25 was made on the basis that the Soviet Union did not have an aircraft that could fly at very high altitudes and at very high speeds. Moreover, intelligence came from across the ocean that the Americans were preparing new means of attack. The Valkyrie supersonic bomber, the Navajo missile and the A-12 reconnaissance aircraft. Looking ahead, it turned out that the Valkyrie was too expensive and was abandoned. The Navajo simply turned out to be unsuccessful, and the A-12 later changed the index to SR-71, but also did not achieve much fame. However, we will return to it later in this article. The MiG-25 was put into service in 1972 as a modification of the MiG-25P P interceptor. Under the wings, he had four R-40 air-to-air missiles. A little later, the MiG-25R R Scout appeared. He did not have any weapons except for two powerful cameras for shooting the area. Even later, 
a modification of the MiG-29RB reconnaissance bomber appeared. He, in addition to reconnaissance, could carry bombs for dropping on enemy territory. Even the delivery of nuclear bombs was allowed. The characteristics of the aircraft did not imply the performance of aerobatics on it, but the pilots did it anyway, and the management even encouraged them. Made unlike other aircraft, it was not made of aluminium, but of steel. Only in this way was it possible to effectively resist heat during friction against the air at maximum speed. In general, the car could climb 22,500 meters and could overcome up to 2,000 kilometers. In total, about 1,000 MiG-25s of various modifications were produced. Its maximum speed was 3,300 kilometers per hour. SR-71 Blackbird This is a US Air Force strategic supersonic reconnaissance aircraft. For its time, it flew damn fast, more than 3,700 kilometers per hour. The dry weight of the aircraft is 27 tons and the maximum takeoff weight is 77 tons. This is not surprising, considering how much fuel he had to take on board. He flew very fast and even violated the borders of the USSR several times. The commands thought that such actions would go unpunished. As a result of one of these flights, he was shot down and the flight stopped. Nobody wanted to give such an aircraft, albeit in a destroyed form, to the enemy. It was too valuable information and very big risks for the opportunity to photograph the country's territory near the border. American X-15 Can the plane fly into space? This aircraft accelerated to a fantastic 7,300 km per hour, but it cannot be called serial. It was an experimental aircraft. This type of machine is also called a rocket plane. Its design no longer uses aircraft jet engines, but rocket ones. The X-15 was created not for military operations or reconnaissance, but to study the behavior of vehicles at hypersonic speeds. And he also helped to conduct research on the withdrawal of winged vehicles into the upper atmosphere and the entrance back. Until now, this is the only aircraft that has made a suborbital spaceflight with pilots and returned back. In general, the ceiling of this thing was a height of 107,000 meters. It was to this height that the North American X-15 flew twice in 1963, piloted by Joseph Walker, a NASA test pilot and unofficial astronaut. Orbital Sciences Corporation X-34 Aircraft Speed Record We continue to go on the rise and one more aircraft, which is more like a rocket, but formally it is an aircraft, as it adheres to its control principles and has load-bearing wings. This plane no longer had pilots on board. It rose into the air under the belly of the aircraft carrier. But during tests in 2004, he accelerated to 11,000 kilometers per hour over the Pacific Ocean. It was originally planned that the device would be able to gain 12,200 kilometers per hour, but it did not work out. As for the design, the aircraft itself is not very large and has a length of only 17.78 meters and a wingspan of 8.85 meters. A solid propellant engine is responsible for the movement, a quarter of a billion dollars was spent on the production of which and seven years on testing. The plane cannot fly too high, although 75 kilometers is already more than an impressive figure. Boeing X-43 is the fastest aircraft in the world. This plane only slightly surpassed the results of the previous device but there should be only one winner. The Boeing X-43 reached a speed that is about 9.5 times the speed of sound, 11,230 kilometers per hour. 
The project also cost a quarter of a billion dollars, and its implementation took 10 years. Boeing X-43 is also a drone and is not very big. The wingspan is only 1.5 meters and the length is only 3.6 meters. There is no need to talk about the practical application of such an aircraft. It was also created as a flying laboratory. Interestingly, there are no rubbing parts in its design. The fuel for it is a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen, which in its exhaust gives just water vapor. The plane had to show that such speeds are possible and also that it is possible to use alternative fuels. He also had to show that the times when a plane can fly to anywhere in the world in two to three hours have almost arrived. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video 